Hi Scorpio, it's your girl Alex and I am here to bring you another reading. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let's see what God Angels Universe has for ya. I'm sitting here looking at this um, peacock feather. It's actually a, a feather from an actual peacock um, Boo Boo gave to me. And every time I look up at it, you know, I see the blotch and it looks like a spirit is hanging hanging out next to me. Anyway, <laughs> let's see what you what the universe got for you, Scorpio. Ten of Cups. Happiness, joy, togetherness, family. Seven of Swords. Running away from that. Page of Wands, because something that was said that turned you off. So you're ending something because of fear. Five of Swords. Okay, this is self-sabotage, right? There's no way. Oh, hell no. There's no way you can open up with the 10, close with the 9, have all this crap. Not the death card. Now look, death card. There's no way you can open up with love and end in love and have all this smut in the middle and it not be self-sabotage. Something somebody said to you turned you off and now you want to end a situation. Um, there could be ego present here. Uh, could be passive aggressiveness. Could be straight out immaturity. Okay. Whose reading is them? 4-4. Four, four. Did my second seven show up? Not yet. Mm. Oh, it did not show up. Oh, very interesting. Remember I always said you get the double sevens? Oh, you didn't get it this time. Angel said three, four. Okay, I don't have a three or a four. How many fours do I have? One, two, three. Okay. Oh, shit. They said three, four. So I have three fours. All right, universe. I hear you. Okay. So... Feels like a situation that was once happy, um, you're turning your back on. I feel like it is due to piss poor thinking. This situation, this, this, this cluster right here confuses me because I'm like the page of wands and three of cups is, you know, maybe you told your family and friends, but now you're unsure. Four and four here is eight. Because something that was said. Maybe at a family gathering, maybe related to a family gathering. And it turns you off and now has you thinking. So you want to end it for a new offer. There's pain and anger here in a, uh, in a foundational type of situation. So you're abandoning growth. Ooh, Nine of Cups, Knight of Cups, Strength card. So this to me looks like maybe something pitch, pissed you off. And in true Scorpio format, you're making a grand exit. I mean, you got the Five of Swords here twice, Seven of Swords, right? So that to me kind of says, buh, bye. And you got the Eight of Cups. There is a grand exit here. Somebody says something that pissed you off, right? Or triggered you. It was said immaturely. Angels are also saying too, this person might have outright lied in a group, in, in some sort of happy occasion or happy group. And I feel like you're going to leave one situation for another. Whatever this situation was that you're leaving, there was no growth there. 
That's why you're turning your back on it. I feel like you have heavy emotional investments in this situation, but there's nothing in it for you, right? In other words, if this was a loving in, or an environment where love was supposed to flow, right? Or some sort of quid pro quo, quo I do this for you, you either pay me or I do this for you or you acknowledge me, right? Whatever that transaction is, it, to me, it kind of feels like you were the primary transactor, especially related to the cups. So eight of cups is walking away from a heavy emotional investment. To me, it was almost like you were the only one investing or 80, 20 rule, right? Eight, uh, 10 minus eight is two, eight plus two is 10, 80, 20. So it was almost like you were pulling most of the emotional weight in a situation that should have been 50-50 or at least 60-40. I got fucks with 60-40. Reciprocity and and I feel like now you're walking away. It's almost like you're taking your cups and you getting out. Get my cups back, Ron. <laughs> All right. In the end, you will get what you want. There's emotion, there's that Buddha love, that happy, drunken, you know, unconditional, sloppy, slap happy love. And it's flowing. Okay, that's what we doing today, angels. Look at this. Six, six. Scorpio, you're walking away or moving away from something. It's gonna take strength. I feel like the strength that it's going to take is for you not to say anything, right? For you not to roar and, and give somebody your lion, right? Your lion, your ego, your pride, your, your business. Okay. Yeah, and the way in which you leave, right? Seven of Swords and Five of Swords. <clears throat> Angel said earlier, self-sabotaging. I don't think this was you who self-sabotaged. I think someone else sabotaged this. Yeah, that makes sense to me. I feel like somebody started it, but you're about to end it in true Scorpio transformational style. Is that what you said, Ron? Okay, mm-hmm. <laughs> My angel said, you're going to flip the script on Ron and turn Ron into Nor, which is Ron spelled backwards, which Nor is, I ain't, I ain't staying here, nor am I working for your ass no more. <laughs> I got to go. Angels, don't do that to me. <laughs> Two of Cups. Emotional connection. I feel like maybe an ultimatum is around you and saying, listen, if it's not 60, 40, 50, 50, I got to go. Again, look at the cards. Everybody's going that way, except for these three. Five of swords, five of swords, uh, seven of swords. They're looking that way. Six of wands, that way. Six of swords, that way. Knight of cups, that way. Even the death card, that way. Page of pentacles, that way. Everybody else keeps going backwards. Maybe that's the problem here is, you know, for every two steps forward, you take four steps back. Opposites attract my ass, Paul Abdul. <laughs> five of Wands. Look at look at how that came out. That's the third five. Yeah. Somebody keeps digging up the past in a, some sort of connection or group environment. Nine of Pentacles. I feel like whomever this is, is because they have, um, they're insecure. They have poor self-confidence. Well, hey, queen, the queen of vanity. That's attraction magnetism I feel like somebody needs to act I feel like somebody needs to speak from their heart right now I feel like somebody needs to communicate their positive passions not just their negative ones 
You know, this Empress, I was just looking here, Queen of Wands, Page of Wands, and I heard mother-son dynamic. So if this is imbalance in a particular situation, I can understand. It feels maternal to child. Um, it's, it feels like that kind of dynamic. Maybe if it was a work situation, somebody spoke condescendingly to you. They, they treated, they reprimanded you like a child. They treated you, you know, like you were a child. Knight of Wands. So I have the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the Page of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. I have the Empress here twice. I have Capricorn sitting here doubled up, coupled up. That's Sagittarius. Where are we going to put this? Can you see it there? You can see it there. Okay, good. It's sitting on my cell phone. And that Knight of Wands is going that way. So it's almost like slowly but surely somebody's drifting away or out of a connection, probably because there's a lot of arguing, fighting, deception, you know, um, throwing shit up in your face, sabotaging. Um, um, what is the other word? Um, dissension. Thank you. It's not the word I was looking for, but okay. And I feel like, um, I feel like whomever this person is, whomever this childish per person is, page of wands for me is that childish card, right? They act in immaturely. Most of the pages, I mean, all of the pages are children. Page of wands, page of swords are the ones who are immature. Page of cups, page of, uh, page of cups is naive. Page of pentacles is the grounded one, right? The reasonable one. So the page of wands to me kind of feels like somebody said something maybe in again in some sort of group environment but i feel like you're the, you're that you're the shit right nine of pentacles you're abundant i also kind of feel like there's nothing you need to do you don't need to address this person you don't need to talk to them you don't need to correct them you just count you just continue counting your pentacles i also kind of feel like whomever this was it was almost like somebody tried to hurt your reputation or bring shame to your name and I feel like there's nothing for you to do because this, whomever this person is, oh God, I don't feel like telling this person's life story here, angels. I feel like this person is jealous and envious, right? The four of swords, four of swords and four of cups says to me, they spend a lot of time alone. They don't have love in their life. They're cold hearted. Um, they're disconnected or uh, disconnected or distant maybe from relatives, family, loved ones. And, you know, I feel like this person is catty, conniving, vindictive. And I feel, Scorpio, that whomever this is or was, they just bought you a golden ticket to your next opportunity, right? The Ace of Wands is, is something new starting right away. The Wands represent direction and path. So I kind of feel like if a path was not open to you before this person said what they said or did what they did, baby, because they did what they did or said what they said, a path was like poof. You know what I mean? And here comes the page of pentacles. Again, the reasonable page, the, the, the grounded page. I feel like this person might have um, granted you a universal blessing. New job, new house, new new man, new woman, new mate, new opportunity. Whatever this person did did to you or against you, Scorpio, was a blessing in disguise. Not only that, this raggedy ass Knight of Wands, I kind of feel like now that you're walking away, moving past it, ending the situation, headed towards something new, um, not letting fear or anything hold you back, but growing domestically or educationally or academically or financially because that's venus venus controls health wealth you know um beauty venus controls everything that's valued valuable to humans it's almost like they were jealous of you but their jealousy is just blessing you it is what it is ron ron 
um, five of swords with queen of pentacles and an empress, it's almost like this person just, just reserved a seat for you in financial stability and growth and power. Ooh, my angel said for some of you who have your own businesses, if somebody, if you got into an argument or disagreement with one of your customers and to an extent they left you a bad review, it was almost like people going to read that review and be like, mm, well, I want to see what happened. I want to see what's going on. Or, ooh, that person sounded salty. Let me, you know, let me inquire. So you know how they say, um, negative, all publicity is good publicity. I feel like somebody was trying to bring negative publicity towards your brand, your name, your reputation, your work ethic, your lover, whatever it is. And the universe done flipped the script. It has trans transmuted and transformed this negative energy into positive energy, which for you, Scorpio, is more money in the bank, more growth, more power, more love. They just hit the more button on you. And now with the strength card, I feel like for a lot of you, now that you're exercising your strength, because again, you managed your pride. You didn't have to sting them, even though they deserved an atomic sting. You didn't do any of that. You're going to be strong enough to, to giddy up, to move on that way, that way, that way. Now they're going to rush in to try to stop you. Oh, okay. So you're going to act like an everyday asshole. And when I just don't put up with your shit and I decide to walk away, now you want to giddy up and trot your ass back in here like, don't go. Fuck off. <laughs> I don't know who that was for. But I know a situation at work for me especially, they're going to get the big fuck off. <laughs> and it's not going to come via me flipping them the bird. It's going to come by me just making a silent and quiet exit. You know what I mean? That was my arm on the armrest. <laughs> I got to explain these things. because I don't want y'all be thinking I'm just passing gas during your readings. <laughs> I have it. <you>. Right? <laughs> that was in English, by the way. Yeah, this is moving on to peaceful waters. This is, you know, after coming from the kerfuffle of the five of wands, we're getting up and moseying along. Um, I do kind of feel like whatever, whatever this activity was that might have caused any sort of grief in an emotional level, on an emotional level, whether that was internal emotion, whether it was the, the emotions between you and someone else, baby, that's coming to an end. I got the nine of pentacles and the queen of pentacles and the empress twice. Scorpio, your money is going to explode. Okay. And I got the page of pentacles. Your money, your money will be waiting there for you as soon as you decide to giddy up. Now, all of a sudden, they want to rush back in. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry, Scorpio. Now, here's why I would give them the big fuck you. Queen of wands, knight of wands, page of wands. They acted immaturely. They they were being catty and, and jealous and, you know, just fucking you know bullshit and now all of a sudden they rushing back in but this little bitch right here goes back and forth so they'll come to apologize and then throw you right back up uh, up under the bus the next day uh-uh scorpio uh-uh don't you dare don't you dare believe or or um first off y'all do whatever you want to do okay I'm just here to transfer information, ignite conversation between you and your guides, you and your spiritual team. But in the end, you do what you want to do. I don't like this Knight of Swords. Notice how it's the last card I pulled out. So it's almost like the last resort is for them to what? Rush back in and, and apologize for being the dickhead they were. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh Lord, thank you universe for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. Thank you for expanding my perceptions so that I can see what is of my highest good. Yeah, so I kind of feel like, um, yeah, this, I, 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 
would even say, I would even say to you, this is what just came to me. It wasn't in my situation, but I feel like somebody is trying to threaten you or use some sort of fear tactics. Oh, well, you know, if you better do it this way, or, you know, you won't be here tomorrow, or we're going to have to hire somebody in your, Ooh, child, don't ever tell me that because you won't be able to finish that sentence. I will give you your job right back. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just me. Mm. God, God's still working with me. My fearless freedom lights up the world. They, that, that limits. Somebody is trying to limit you. Somebody is trying to hog tie you, as they say. Somebody's trying to block you, but they're dumb as hell because by trying to block the empress, that's just creating more abundance and flow, right? It's like a dam, right? Or somebody who's trying to hold back the enormity of who you are. That's like me trying to go to the to the the ocean with a cup, right? A little eight ounce cup and be like, okay, I'm gonna dry the ocean out with my little eight ounce cup. That's It's almost like that's what they're trying to do with you. Mm, mm, mm. Got to be more careful. And, and here's the thing. If the ocean is a living, breathing body, which I know she is, if you, if that's, this person is going to the ocean like, oh, <coughs> I'm going to stop the flow or I'm going to get rid of all this water. Ocean's like, bitch, you ain't even equipped. You got that little sad eight, eight ounce cup. I am three quarters of, of your whole lifetime. Okay. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so that just kind of says to me, that's why I think I said here earlier, Angel said, there's nothing for you to do, right? Can you imagine if the ocean is living and breathing and that person comes with a cup? What does the ocean do? Laugh? I would laugh them off. Like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> like, what are you, a cup? Hey, you ain't even bring a bucket. <laughs> oh my God. But angels said to me, that's the energy of this person. They are fire or have fire in their chart. This is Aries. That is Sagittarius. That is Sagittarius. This is also Leo. So I feel like someone, their ego and pride is trying to suppress, oppress, or oppress you, Scorpio. Scorpio's like, really? <laughs> oppress what? I'm already on my throne. It's like they trying to come to you on your throne like, I'm the real queen. It's like, bitch, you ain't even got a throne. <laughs> All right, I'm going. <laughs> and here's the thing. Ah, based on who you are, that's not going to resonate with all Scorpios or all of you. But I feel like you are such a pillar in your community, in your family, in your job. Yeah, I feel like to an extent you are not worshipped because I don't want to confuse devotion to God, angels, universe, right? I don't want to confuse it with that. But I feel like you're honored. That's the best way to put it. I feel like people love you. They honor you. They like they like dealing with you, except for this one bitch. And I'm not even using gender. This could be, you know, anybody, male, female, non-binary. Somebody is, uh, and, and here's the thing, they're both queens, okay? But they don't have the same queendom. They're not ruling the same queendom. Hell, she may be the queen of cats and cattiness, okay? But mama here is the queen of money and materialism and practicality and everything that's real in this world. That's the queen of realness. This is the queen of, of spite. Okay. <laughs> I gotta go. My vibes speak louder than more. See what I'm saying? People naturally gravitate towards you. You got the empress here twice. That's, that's mama. She's the giver of life. Somebody don't like that shit. I don't, I don't never like the devil and the empress together. Cause I'm just like, she is too abundant. You're a giver. Well, this raggedy ass bitch is a taker, is a drainer. Mm. That's Capricorn. That's Aries. Saturn. Mars. Mm. I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. 
My faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, fear into love. So, turn power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, okay? We could also use the five of wands with the queen of, with the empress and the queen of pentacles, right? Into growth and fear into love. Look at that judgment that's Aries and Scorpio. I feel like this person's an Aries in all honesty. And I feel like this Aries is jealous of you. And I feel like this Aries is so damn egotistical that they can't even see your value and worth. And I feel like the universe is about to flip the script. First, they're going to remove you out of this situation, Scorpio. And then they're going to deal with this Aries and their ego and pride. Okay. I hate to say it because Aries are our cousins in the in the struggle, right? Aries is um, ruled by Mars as well. We're ruled by Mars. But baby, there's a dark side and a light side to all energy in this universe. And I don't even care if this is an Aries or not. But if you're dealing with somebody who has high, strong ego to the point where they're trying to block you and hurt you or destroy your reputation or name or what you've built Scorpio ain't nothing you need to do that's not proper grammar I don't even care there's nothing you need to do but be be cute and keep it light and keep moving forward keep moving that way you're gonna put an end to the situation and as soon as you end it here comes a new situation bada bing bada boom babies I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here if the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. I love you, Scorpio. Bye.